Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brighton and I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, and whatnot. And hopefully soon on YouTube because I do have a second channel, Brighton Your Day Auctions. So please go bookmark, subscribe. That'd be awesome. Um, so before I get into my jewelry unboxing, I have had a lot of questions, um, comments about how do I get my thread up DIY jewelry boxes. So I want to show you guys how I get mine. So this is my tablet. So the first thing you're going to do is look up thread up rescue box. That is, you're not going to find the thread up rescue boxes on the regular thread up website. You have to go to the thread up rescue boxes page. It's a separate page than the regular thread up page. All right. So let me give that a second to load. All right. So we are now on the Thread Up Rescue page. And as you see, they have mixed clothing, handbag shoes, kids' shoes, bulk clothing, men's athletic wear, um, DIY denim, fabric, scarves, t-shirts, coach handbags, neighbor and handbags, and then you'll find mixed jewelry, fun boxes, and then of course the coveted DIY jewelry box. As you see, it says out of stock. This is what I do to get boxes. I will literally just sit here and I will just refresh the page over and over and over again. I do it for several hours, several hours every day in hopes that they restock randomly. I have had them restock at just completely random times of the day. There is no specific time that they restock. There may be people who say that there is. However, I do not think so. But that's what you do. You go to the thread up restock page. All right. And you go to where the jewelry is. You scroll down to the jewelry. And then you just refresh, refresh, and refresh. That is what you have to do to get a thread up DIY box. Yes, it's a lot of work. It takes a lot of time. But usually, it's worth it. All right, so this is our box. As you saw, I already um, took it out of the box and everything. Ooh, I see turquoise. I see turquoise. This, this one looks like a good one. I can already tell. Um, also, this bag is sealed and taped up. I have not tampered with it or put anything in here. It's just how it came from Thread Up. So let's take a look, see? I don't see anything that really screams at me besides that turquoise bracelet. That is going to be awesome if that is what it is. Um, and this kind of looks like sterling right here. This little cuff bracelet maybe. That looks like sterling. So yeah, I'm pretty excited to open this. And let's get started. Again, I'm probably going to mute you for a second while I untape this. All right. We went ahead and got that untaped. So now let's get into it. Put it right there and let's pull out some pieces. Hopefully this is a good one. My one from about two weeks ago was amazing. And the one from last week was just like, okay. I think we've already just opened the box and we already have something good. Hold on y'all. I found a little gold hoop. It is marked Sasha. No. S H A S H nine two five. So we have a little nine two five little gold vermeil hoop. So awesome! Hopefully we find the match. My last box didn't really have that many matches. Surprisingly, usually we do get matches from this box. So hopefully we do get matches, or maybe just like randomly we'll get the matching Tory Birch. <laughs> Earring that we did not get the match to in my last box. All right. I don't want to get too much out. It looks like a lot of littles, which I actually really like. This looks like it's marked Betsy Johnson. That's awesome. Ooh, and some blingy rhinestones. All right. I like this box already. I like this box already. All right. So that's, that's enough. We're going to save that. We're going to save that. We'll, we'll open that after we get through this. All right, let's see what we have. There's a lot. Okay, ooh, this is pretty. It's a little ring. I don't see any marks. It looks like all of the little rhinestones are there. It's really pretty. 
Oh, can you guys see? Oops. I'm sorry about that, guys. Let's do that. There we go. Really pretty little ring. I like that. And then what is this? This is Love or Lust. Me and Xena. And it says Hate, Love, Lust, Like. It's kind of fun. A little spinner necklace. I'll have to look into that. All right, we have a little hoop earring. No marks. It feels like a very nice hoop. Like it has some nice weight to it. So I would have thought this would have been like a Kate Spade or something, but no, mar no marks on that. Okay, let's throw this to the side and let's get into it. All right, ooh, I like this earring. This one's super fun. I like that. We have a bunch of these little faux pearls that are just going to go into craft. So craft. All right, we have the ring. All right, let's see what's this. This is not marked. Really cool little green end cap cuff bracelet. That's fun. We have a gold, like, plastic bracelet. It's craft. We have a little wood earring. We have a little gold hoop earring. This one looks like it's brand new, like it's never even been worn. And this one looks very similar to that one. All right, we have a broken necklace, probably from those faux pearls. Clasp, I'll probably keep that clasp. Ooh, yep, and then here was the pendant that goes with all those faux pearls. So let me grab all of these little faux pearls. There's a ton of them. Oh, look, we got the match to this earring, so that's awesome. There's a ton of these little beads. Might have to pause and just get all these beads all out of the way, but I don't want to do that. All right. Ooh. Ooh. Hello. Hello. We have sterling silver. That is Mark Sterling right there. And that looks like Onyx. That looks like Onyx. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Um, this is old too. That is, that is an old earring. Let's pray that we get the matching onyx hoop because this is gorgeous. Please let this be in there. Please let that be in there. All right. All right. Let's see. What else do we have? This looks like crap. <laughs> that is going to go to craft. It's very tarnished. We have more of those plastic bangles. I'm going to get all of these faux pearls out of the way. Those are all craft. We have another one of those plastic bangles. That's craft. Now look, we do have the match to the gold hoop. Again, no markings. So we do have the match. That's awesome. So we already have two matches. All right. Okay, this is cool. We have a little... Um, collar length necklace. Ow. All right. Let's see. Kind of reminds me of Henry Bendel, but I don't. Oh, we do have a mark. No marks. Never mind. I lied. Kind of reminds me of like a Henry Bendel bracelet, but there's no marks to it. So I'll have to look into this. Put that there. We have the pendant from that broken necklace. We have a really pretty earring. No marks. There is a rhinestone on the inside, so it's probably like a loft or a White House Black Market. Super cute. We have a gold tone, a little wire wrap. Oh, this is that really pretty rhinestone. Oh, we have the match to the wood necklace. I'm glad we're getting matches, so that's awesome. So we have the match to these. Cute. Um, we have this necklace that is just marked love. It's like a gold Cuban link. So that's kind of fun. I like that. Put that to the side. Great. We have a... I think that said icing. I can't see it now. Um, Really pretty pink rhinestone necklace. How gorgeous is that? And we have one of the earrings. So hopefully we get the match. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit. Hopefully you guys were in focus the whole time. That suck. All right, then we have a little silver tone chain and it says Megan. So if there's any Megans out there, there you go. 
we have a little earring. So I love this rhinestone necklace. Hopefully we get the matching earring. We have this earring. And then this was the Megan that was over there. All right. Let's see. We have this pretty little purple. Kind of gives me Halloween vibes a little bit. Okay, this is cool. This is like a... I can't think of the name, but it's like the snake chains almost. I think there's a name for these. I just can't think of what it is. But it's really cool. Coil necklace? Is that what it is? A coil necklace? I think so. We have the... Oh, we have the gold hoop. So yay. All right, we have another faux pearl. It's curl craft. I like the DIY thread up boxes because for the most part, it's people sending things in that they want to sell. So usually it means you get things that are in good condition, things that are sellable because they wanted to sell it. However, you do get the occasional, well, let's just be honest, most of the boxes, there's a lot of craft mixed in as well because people also use thread up as a dumpster basically or they'll just send all their stuff that they don't want to do with in hopes that either thread up will take it or just dispose of it for them so we have a little gold tone ring no markings so you never know that's why the fun boxes are always super fun to get because you really have no idea what you will receive at least with the jewelry you know you're gonna get some type of jewelry may not be good jewelry but usually you always get something that'll make the box worth it for the DIY, I personally do not recommend the mixed jewelry boxes. I think they are a waste of money. Um, I just think I've gotten so many mixed jewelry boxes where I have nowhere near even made my money back. Even the good boxes. I've opened very some very good boxes and the items just have not sold. So it's, I'm just have money just sitting on 15 items. This is a cute little unbranded silver tone. So for me, it's not worth getting the mixed, in my opinion. I also do them occasionally. I think I have a couple that I bought before I decided not to buy anymore. And I will be doing, um, opening those while I'm gone on vacation. Well, I really, I really wouldn't call it vacation. I volunteer every summer at a youth camp. I teach woodworking. So I will be gone for several weeks, several months actually. And um, I need to pre-film some videos. So I'll probably be doing that next week. All right, so this is a really pretty rhinestone statement necklace. It looks to me like all the rhinestones are there. I will give it a second once over. It's really pretty. It's unbranded, but it's nice. I like this one a lot. This will probably go on my Whatnot channel if you're not following me on Whatnot. What are you doing? Go follow me on Whatnot. I do the bomb.com shows. I do them on, um, when do I do them on? I do them on Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays for the most part. Sometimes I'll throw in an extra one. Sometimes I won't do one at all. Oh man, this is a missing, this is missing a pink rhinestone. So let's hope we get the matching rhinestone. Um, but this is Mart, and this is a Robert Charla, Robert, Robert C something. I think that's a, um, anthropology brand. If I remember correctly. No, is that Robert Rose? I can't remember. There we go. There's the marking. C-H-A-R-E-L-L-A. -L -L but it is missing a rhinestone. So hopefully we get the rhinestone. If not... It'll be a really nice crafting piece. <laughs> All right, let's see. And I did grab a magnet last my last video. I forgot a magnet. I do have a magnet next to me. So in case we get something that we're not sure if it's silver or not, like this gorgeous bracelet that I think I'm just going to go ahead and show it and look at it now. Um, we can just see if it's magnetic. Now, the magnet does not mean it's silver, but it does give it a good indication that it, it may be. Um, oh, this is marked. It is marked Sterling with a marking that I am not familiar with. So if anyone knows that marking, please let me know. Let's get a magnet. It is not magnetic, so that is a very good sign. Please fit me. Please fit me. Please fit me. It's a little snug, but I think it will fit. 
look how gorgeous look how gorgeous look how gorgeous i love this bracelet to me this alone is worth the 50 something dollars they are i think they're like 52 bucks now with tax if you have to pay shipping it's even more than that but um yeah i don't know that maker's mark so if anyone knows it please let me know i love this bracelet wow okay we gotta keep it moving but i that 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 makes the box worth it for me hopefully we get some other pieces obviously but i'm happy i got that i got that bracelet all right let's see we have a rose gold hoop those are very nice again we got a lot of hoops we've got a lot of hoops and they're all in excellent condition like they look like they've never been worn so have to look into those to see if any of them might be branded this is pretty these look like real natural stones the clasp is marked holy crap is that 14k okay so i believe it is 14 carat 120th gold filled i believe is what it said but these are these gorgeous real gemstones I'm not sure what the stone is, but they are faceted and it's a gorgeous orange color and it's gold filled. So that's cool. We have another hoop. This one is different though. This one could be something or not. All right. We got more of these. Oh, look, maybe that wasn't a ring to begin with. Maybe it goes to this necklace. Oh, yeah. So that thing I thought was a ring, it's not a ring. I think it's part of this necklace. <laughs> um, but I'm probably actually going to take these off and sell them as rings. Well, no, they're a little tiny. I don't know. This, this probably isn't going to sell very well because of how unique it is. Okay, let's look at this. This is a Betsy Johnson. It is like a snake skin. Now the back does have some wear, but the front is in pretty good condition. Yeah. No like no like bad scratches or chips. And no one really looks at the back of the anyways. So yeah, I'm gonna have to look into this. This is a pretty cool looking Betsy Johnson watch. Nice. And then our last box, we got some watches too. So maybe we'll see more watches in these boxes. Um, I think I've always gotten watches in these. Because unlike Goodwill, Goodwill has a box that's just dedicated to watches. What up doesn't. So I don't think I've ever gotten a watch from Goodwill. Have I? Maybe I have. I just don't remember. Okay, this is pretty tangled, so we're just going to put that to the side for now. A little, another one of these gold, like, foil cord. The problem with these is these come unspooled very well, easily, so we'll see how, if that's in good condition or not. Oh, we got the matching rhinestone, so we should be able to fix that Robert necklace. So, awesome. We have the match to these. We're getting matches to earrings, so that's awesome. Okay. This looks like a piece of faux turquoise. I like this. This looks like moonstone. It's gorgeous. But the problem is I can't even get to it because of how tangled this is. Okay, let's work on this. We got a little tassel earring with little stars and moons. We have this little that's going to craft. We have another one that's going to craft. And we have another one going to craft. We have a match to this um, earring. Again, no markings. These look like they could be garnets. So it is a vintage screw barrel clasp with these gorgeous, very dark red, possibly garnets or glass. They do not have a presidium. I would like to get a presidium, but they're just so expensive. <gasps> Guys! Guys, we got the match! Holy moly, look at these amazing sterling silver. I, I had to guess these are native. Because look, they're marked spelled out sterling. They're definitely old and vintage. 
and they definitely have that native look to them. Holy crap, that, those are amazing. Those are amazing. Look at that. Oh my goodness. These will probably make me a nice little penny. They're nice and hefty too. They're not like light chintzy, you know, earrings. These are like nice quality. Oh my goodness. So these, okay. Wow. This box is great. Love this box. All right. More of these little plastic bangles. We have a little charm of like a little wizard holding like a little magic ball. It's cute. All right, let's see. We have an earring. We have another bead. We have a cute little cactus earring. That's adorable. We Ooh, this looks like it could be liquid silver. So we have a, another barrel screw clasp. And a lot of the time, the clasps are not, especially screw barrel, there's not very many sterling silver screw barrel clasps. So the clasp probably isn't sterling, but these beads may be. Let me get a magnet. Yeah. Yeah, the, the clasp, again, is magnetic, but the beads are not. These look like they are lapis beads. So love this possibly sterling we're definitely getting more sterling in this box than my last box so we have those really pretty earrings that are matched what is this this is broken no it's not i'm not sure i'm not sure how you wear this i guess like so I don't know. It's cute, but I'm not sure. I'll probably just take that to Style Encore. They like that kind of thing. They like the short, trendy little necklaces. All right. This is marked Freedom, which I believe is Topshop. I think I've had that new on the card before, and it's like Freedom by Topshop. This is a cool looking ear. Oh, it's marked. It is marked Leslie Block. L E S L. No, E S. No, L S. No, Lord. L E S L I E B L O C K. Leslie Block. Looks vintage. Super fun. And here's the marking on the inside of the earring. So that could be something. Put that to the side. Hopefully we get the match. All right. Okay. Ooh, we have some rhinestones. So this is stunning. Silver tone with these clear rhinestones. And they, oh, we're missing one. Missing one rhinestone right there. But I mean, this is gorgeous. We have like more key cut glass rhinestones with the little solitaires at the top. It's missing one right there. So hopefully we get the matching rhinestone. If not... I can definitely use that to harvest. All right. Let's keep digging. This is a pretty tangled box compared to my our last box. That one wasn't quite as bad. All right. This is the Freedom, I think, from Topshop. It's cute. I'll look it up. Probably not, you know, worth a whole lot. I think people like to buy the Topshop clothing but I don't think their um I don't think their jewelry goes for very much this is Maurice's which for the longest time I was calling Marcy's <laughs> <gasps> but I was definitely told that is not correct um right I'm gonna have to maybe untangle this off camera oh wait a minute we got the match wait a minute, wait a minute. I thought I saw the matching earring Okay, maybe not. All right, I'm gonna put that off screen. We'll 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 go through that one later. After we get through the rest, um, we have this acrylic bangle bracelet. I like the color. Probably not worth you know a whole lot. All right, we 
have a, another bracelet. Let's see. What is this? Another Banana Republic. Or no. Did we get Banana Republic? I don't think we did. But in my last box, we did. Banana Republic. It's a gold, like, bow. Super cute. That's definitely sellable. All right. This is very cheap feeling. This is going to craft. We have the match to the little glittery earring. So cool. All right. We got this ring that has a ton of tarnish that's going to craft. We have, oh, this one's pretty. This looks like a lace agate. Let's see. This is on a branded chain. It looks like it might be. Looks like it might be a White House block market. Let's see. I think that's what the tag said. We have a silver tone pleather earrings. Might have to pause and untangle. This looks like a box of just tangles. Which are good for us because, you know, that means there might be some good things in here. But bad for recording videos because it takes a long time to untangle. Okay, so we have this um, Alex and Ani that says, What's for you will not pass you? From 2013. We got this one. I'm still trying to untangle. Oh no. Okay, you have this one that is missing a charm or two. It's like the. I'm not sure. Okay. This is a White House Black Market necklace. And it's a double layer. So let me fix it. So one of the layers just came undone. That's an easy fix. You just have to reattach. Maybe not. No, it does not. Okay, it's one layer. Okay, so this is one necklace. Really fun, like a lace agate with a pave rhinestones down the middle. Looks like they are all there. That's gorgeous. That's White House Black Market. And then this one is a no name, but they're tangled together. So first I'll put those to the side. And White, White House Black Market, you know, their stuff retails for a lot of money. And some of it does resell well. It just depends on the piece. Um, oh, we did get the matching pink earrings. So we should have the set with the necklace and the earrings. Awesome. Yes, we do. Awesome. Okay. All right. I'm going to untangle some of this and I'll be right back. All right, guys. We are back. Um, Let's start off with... It, this took me probably an hour to untangle, by the way. Um, this is all craft, craft, and craft. These are going to, these beads are going to go to my friend who crafts. And she needs like bigger beads like these. This will be perfect for her crafting. This is all craft. Craft. And craft. So it's for all craft. All right. Um, let me show that. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's start off with the super cute little gold tone mountain necklace. Super cute, dainty. That will go to style encore. Next, we have like a little leather cuff. It's actually not the... Oh, it's marked. That's Rustic Cuff, right? Is that Rustic, Rustic Cuff's logo? Usually it's like stamped on the inside though. Oh, it's, it is marked. Made in Italy. It's marked Made in Italy right there. I don't know. It kind of doesn't feel the greatest quality, but maybe it's just because it's very dry. I'll look into that. All right. Our best piece. You may already know what this is. At first, I was confused, but then I'm like, I saw the little mark, and I'm like, <gasps> this is a Lynx of London bracelet. I believe, I, I think they're all 925, very, very heavy 925. Let me get my scale. Um, and this probably resells for anywhere from like $100 to $200, if I had to guess. I'm sure these retail for more than that. 
Actually, let's Google it. Um, let's just let's just look at my scale. All right. Go to grams. This weighs fifty four grams. Fifty four grams of silver in this one bracelet. That is insanity to me. 54 grams. Hold on, guys. My phone just died. All right, there we go. I just had to plug you guys back in. Um, This is 54 grams, I believe, of sterling silver. So this alone will pay for my whole box. If you don't know what Lynx of London's mark is, it literally just says Lynx in London. London... Like three interlocking rings, links, links of London. And again, I believe this is solid sterling. Um, it just kind of rolls on the wrist and rolls off. And let's go. All right, this looks like about the same one. This one is, I believe, the same bracelet. And someone wants $193.44 for it. Um, see if there's any more there's one for 179 there's one for a 100 there's one for 200 um so yeah so here's one that's 245 here's one for 170 so these are definitely very expensive bracelets here's a rose gold one for 161 so yeah this is at least a hundred dollars right here at minimum. So this right here is amazing. Best piece so far. Oh, it's up there. I mean, it's pretty close with that, um, that turquoise bracelet. All right. So this, I believe, could be liquid silver, but unfortunately the clasp is broken. But, um, I'm going to test that and see if that's silver or not. We got these really pretty post back earrings, which... They don't see any markings, but they're really pretty. We got this silver tone um, skeleton key rhinestone necklace. I'll go on whatnot. We got these little like cheetah earrings. We got these earrings. These are all earrings. Oh, actually, I'll get to those. So those are all earrings. We did get a Kate Spade earring, and it's marked with a tiny, tiny, tiny little spade around the back of the earring. So hopefully we get the match to that one. And we did get the match to these little itty bitty 925 gold Vermeil hoops. I know it's Vermeil, but I call it Vermeil. Sue me. Um, these are super cute little just, well, that one has some crud on it little um adjustable rose gold ring that was just gonna go to my aunt it's really pretty she'll like that all right next is this this piece i absolutely love this is a faceted moonstone and look at that glow it is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous it is on a rose gold tone chain I do not see a mark, but I would not be surprised if this was silver. Let's see. It's not. So, hmm. Interesting. You'd think they would put it on sterling, but I guess not. But that's a gorgeous moonstone. Love that. Um, This is, this is marked. Hold on. I see GF. So something gold filled. Adorable little gold filled butterfly necklace I love that we have two of these little unbranded but adorable little necklaces one's a black marble and one is a faux turquoise on a matte gold tone paper clip chain so cute we have a little dainty black little necklace no marks on that we have a little tiger's eye heart. Um, it's on a little black cord. It's cute. 
we have a little marble and these are marble not how light little dainty necklace we have a this was american eagle an aeo which is american eagle outfitters and it's a little like feather no leaf little leaf necklace with little mother pearl disc and little charms this i think was sterling let's see yes so this is marked 925 italy and it is like a little what we call a y necklace with a little pearl and i believe actually no it's not a pearl it's a piece of silver a little ab rhinestone on the bottom and it's a y necklace so this little part just kind of dangles and that's sterling silver then we have this little yellow necklace the chain's a little tarnished so it'll probably just end up going to my crafting unless i can clean that up i might be able to but i don't think i am on my craft um this is an express so this is an express necklace has all these fun little box beads little sea beads super fun Okay, next is just a little dainty necklace. Style of course, gonna love this. They like these little dainty little nothing necklaces. It's an earring. This is another little Y necklace with rhinestones. And this one has no brand. It just says Korea, so it's vintage. Cute. All right, this I still cannot get untangled, but what it is is a stunning, super adorable little matte gold tone bird with a real lapis, lapis azuli um, bead that dangles. And it's a double layer with like a little leaf. So it dangles like so. No tag on this. I'm thinking it's gold filled though. But again, I have to get it disconnected from that. So that's really cute. This is a no name nothing. This goes a craft. This was a surprise. I had no idea that Cabi, C A B I, the clothing brand, made jewelry. So we have a little Cabi necklace. So not sure how Cabi's jewelry does, but I know their clothing does very well. And this is a little gold filled chain with a little cloisonne pendant. So super adorable. Okay, next we have like this lucite. This like a big, heavy, chunky lucite necklace. All right. And then last thing that I untangled, we have more in the box, is a necklace that is marked RJB. Which I think that's Graziano, maybe, maybe not. I can't remember, but I think these are glass. It's really pretty, very like bejeweled Taylor Swift vibes. All right, we still have more. That was just the really tangled pieces. All right, so far this box has been great. No complaints. Next, we have a little stud earring that looks like it is marked something on the earring. So hold on, y'all. Oh, I love that. That looks like sterling. Um, where's my loop? Where's my loop? Oh, there it is. It's 925. So this little stud is marked 925 on the post. So super cute. Hopefully we can find the match. All right, next we have a watch that it says Quartz. Um, I think that's Charming Charlie. Not sure. Okay, this looks like Sterling. It is marked 925. And this is an awesome little hook bracelet. And again, this one that feels a little like lighter, but it, it's nice little bit of silver on it. So nice. And it is marked 925 right here in the corner. If you will see that or not. So awesome. Another piece of silver. Tell I love my silver. 
this is a Chico's. It's a Chico's very, very long. Um, I'm not sure why there is gaps. I think it goes like so. Um, so I'm not sure. This is this is really long and really heavy, but um, I'm pretty sure this is probably going to end up in craft. Ooh, we do have the match to that nine two five earring, so yay! This goes with those. All right, this is a gorgeous necklace. Let's see if we can untangle it. A lot of little earrings attached. Those there. All right, let's see. This goes here. Maybe. All right. So this is a faux pearl necklace with this absolutely stunning clasp. However, we are missing one stone right here. Two stones. One stone here, one stone here. So that is unfortunate, but it's really pretty. It's a really pretty, really pretty piece. Side. We have another like adjustable ring. We have a little dangle earring. We have another. This one's in a Van Cleef style. Really pretty though. Really pretty Van Cleef knockoff. <laughs> um, we have those. This looks like it could be marked too. It is. These are. This is marked 925 as well. So another little pair of 925 earrings. Those there. All right. We have a little handmade bracelet. All right. We have the match to those earrings. Cute. I don't think we got the match to this one yet, unfortunately. Or the... Oh, no, we didn't get the Kate Spade either. Womp womp. Okay, this is just a no. The beads are cool, though. So this will go in my crafting. All right, we got another one of these, like, cheetah print earrings. Okay, this looks like it could be maybe J. Crew or Law um, and Taylor Loft. I do not see a tag, but it definitely has that kind of vibe to it. All right, we have another one of these necklaces. This one's by the brand Cole. So I'm not sure anything about that, but I will look it up. All right, and then the last two things. Let's see what they are. We have this really pretty earring. Look at how stunning those are with those rhinestones. Gorgeous. And we have this little necklace that kind of looks like Avon to me. And there's no mark. Oh, it is marked. AG925. I don't believe this is 925. Mm. I don't know. AG925. I don't know if this is real or not. It is marked 925, but I don't know. It doesn't really look like 925 to me. But all right. So that was our box. I think this was an amazing box. Um, the Links of London will more than pay for the box. Got that. That's marked 925, but I don't think it's real. Got these little 925 little hoops, these 925 studs, and these 925 dangles. We got these very substantial 925 possibly native black onyx half hoops. We got the 925 bracelet that is that opens like so with a really pretty little flower. We have the amazing, which is we're gonna stay in my personal collection, sterling silver marked with that mark that I am not familiar with bracelet. We got the little gold filled with these natural stone necklace. We have the gold filled butterfly necklace we have the possibly liquid silver amethyst necklace then we have the possibly liquid silver lapis necklace 
Then we have the little Y style 925 necklace. All right, then we had the little moonstone that is not silver, but super pretty. I love moonstone. Moonstone's one of my favorites. All right, um, right, let's see. We got this that is missing a rhinestone, and unfortunately we did not get it. We got these gold filled chain with a little cloisonate pendant. We got this that I need to look up. Got the um, lapis bird, and we got the cabbie. We got the um, freedom necklace. We got the banana republic bangle. We got the really pretty pink rhinestone necklace with the matching earrings. We got the little spinner necklace and we got the genuine leather made in Italy bracelets, the White House black market necklace, the, oh, that one was just tangled with it, Alex and Ani bracelet and Betsy Johnson watch. So that was my box. We didn't get like as many sole pieces as my last box, but the pieces we did get were amazing. These sterling silver hoops, amazing. The links of London, hello. That was a crazy amount of silver. I will test it to make sure they're silver. And then the gorgeous Miki, my um, turquoise bracelet. So to me, those were definitely the winners. So those are the winners. Everything else was good, but these were obviously the best pieces in my opinion. So please give me a comment. What do you think was your favorite piece? What was the best piece? Um, please give this video a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. And again, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye y'all.